Today, I'm going to be making a really yummy lemon strawberry tart. I've got some lemon curd that I made in a previous video, and I also have some nice tart shell dough that I made in a previous video as well, and I will link to these recipes at the end of this video. So, let's get started. All right, I have my chilled dough here. I'm just going to unroll this. So as I said, I will link to this recipe here at the end of this video. So I'm going to get down a little bit of flour. There we go. A little bit of flour on the top. Okay, and I'm just going to start rolling this out. We're also going to need some strawberries. And I'm going to be using a little bit of apricot glaze as well. I'm going to try to keep this video relatively short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep rolling this out. What I want to do is get it thin enough. It's going to fit this nice tart shell mold. I'm going to roll this out and I'll be back in a minute or so. Alright, I have a little offset spatula, which I like to use. You can grab a little bit of flour and just slide underneath. This separates your dough from your work area. Just like that. There you go. Alright, we'll check it for size. That's perfect. And it's thin enough, which is good. I'm going to get this rolled up onto my rolling pin. Just like that. And then, try to estimate where the middle is. And then gently get that on there. Just like that. Perfect. And now, what you want to do is kind of push inward. So don't pull on it. Push inward so that you give the dough enough area. So just push. Just going to go around like that. So what I'm actually doing is I'm pushing the dough away from the inside of the metal tart mold. Just like that. I want to make a slightly thicker edge crust, so that's why I'm pushing like that. Now if you don't really want a, you know, a thicker crust, what you can do is you can take your rolling pin and just directly go right over it, just like that. That's another way of doing it. So I'm just pushing towards the middle, just like that. This is beautiful, beautiful dough to work with. When we finish doing this, we're going to put this into the fridge and we're going to let it chill just to relax the dough. There we go. And then I'm just going to push up against the side. Anywhere, if you find that you have a little area, don't be shy, just grab a little piece and just pop it in there and just build up your sides. Just like that. Okay. Just think of yourself as the pie doctor. Doing a little operation here and there, and no one will ever know. Okay, there we go. That looks nice. Yeah, I've got a little area right here that's a little bit thin. You can just take a little bit and just push it. It just it just melts right into the other existing dough that's already there. And just make it all really nice. And make sure that you don't have any edges because those will burn faster than the rest of the, the actual shell. So just go like that. There we go. That looks good. So in order to make this complete tart, you're going to need to watch three videos. I, I did break it down like that because some people don't want to watch a whole video 30 minutes long. They just want to know how to make the actual lemon curd or they just want to make the actual dough. So this here is the assembly of all of those things together. So I'm just pushing it down. I just want it nice and even. So there we go. That's nice. Okay. 
grab a fork and now we're going to what we call docking. We're going to dock the dough. So we're just going to go around like this and just put holes all the way around. So just go like that. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pop this into the fridge and we're just going to let it chill. Alright, my tart shell is very, very cool. It's ready for the oven. While we were on break, when I was, I had the camera off, I made two small ones as well, so I'm going to pop those into the oven as well. So I'm going to pop those in now, and I'll come back when they are nicely baked, and I'll tell you exactly how long I baked them. Alright, my tart shells have completely cooled now. They were in the oven for a total of 30 minutes, and I'll just show you. I'll just lift one up, and you can see how nice those are. Very, very nice. My little guys here, very, very nice. So we are ready to go with the next part of the recipe. In another video, I made a beautiful lemon curd, and this is it here. I'll just show you what it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And what I'm simply going to do is just take this and put that right into my tart shell. Okay. Grab myself a little offset spatula, and I'm just going to start moving this all around. So if you don't have an off offset spatula, what you can use is the back of a spoon, which is good because you do get a little bit of an angle on the spoon. Okay, and I'll just show you that for a second. Alright, so you take your spoon and then you just go around like this. It provides you with a little bit of an angle so that you can get into the corners. You know a knife is going to be too flat. You're going to be down like this. You're going to get your fingers in the actual actual mixture. So just go like that and get it all nice and smooth. I'll come back with my spatula and get that all nice. And there's no, you know, actual measurement of how much you want to put in here. Just put it up to almost the top of the tart. Just like that. Okay? And then I'm going to cut up some strawberries and we're going to start to top this with beautiful fresh strawberries. So that's the next step. Of course at this point if you don't have strawberries what you can do is you can just cut this up and eat this exactly like this. Just like that. Or what you could do is you could take some nice chocolate and drizzle it over the top. That would be a great addition too. But I'm going to go get my strawberries ready and I'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, so I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do for the strawberries. I'm only going to show you on one of them and I'll do the rest and then I'll come back. I'm just going to cut off the tip. Okay. And then I'm just going to take the strawberry like this and I'm just going to cut little slices this way. So I'm going to do all of my strawberries exactly like this. Okay? Just like that. Alright, so I'm going to do a whole pile of these. I'll come back and then we're going to assemble the tart. Okay, I have cut up my strawberries. And what I'm going to do now, so I'm just going to start gently placing them all the way around. So you want to place the tips outward. This is how I'm doing it. You can do it a different way if you wish. I'm just showing you which, which way I'm doing it today. So we're just going to build up little circles going all the way around. So I know you don't want to watch me doing this for five minutes. So what I'll do is I'll just speed the tape up or I'll just come back in a minute when I've done a few more. Okay, we'll start another row. Like I said, you can place these any way you want. If you have a different way, what you can do is you can do, you know, half the strawberries and have them all, you know, the top half going all the way around as well. There are different ways you can do it. The other thing that I wanted to mention is this tart, you can actually bake this again. You could take this tart and actually put it into the oven and bake it for about 10 minutes at 350 which is another way of doing it but today I am doing it just like this because I want 
just a little bit of a different texture. If you bake it, it's more like a lemon meringue pie, whereas this, it's, I don't know, it just, it's different. Choose your pieces so it looks a little nicer. There, and there we go. Beautiful. If you see any little areas that need to be filled, just go ahead and fill them. You can just slide another one right in there. There we go. Okay, good. Now the next step, what we're going to do is I have a glaze. This is an apricot glaze that I will link to in yet another video. And this is a fruit tart glaze that we use in the pastry shop. And it's used to cover the fruit. And what it does is it makes it look nice and glossy. It keeps the fruit fresh and it just looks really, really nice. So let's get on to that step. So here is my apricot glaze that we're gonna glaze our strawberries with. This was made from an apricot jam and I will link to this video at the end of this video. So we're gonna have two other links. We're gonna have one to this glaze and also how we actually made the lemon curd. So there will be two video links at the end of this video. So right now you can see that this is very, very thick. Maybe what I should do is just zoom in a little bit so that you can see that a little bit better. Okay, I've just zoomed in a little bit so that you can see a little bit better. And you can see how thick this is right now. Now this is because it was in the fridge. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna microwave this. It will become very, very liquidy and then I'm gonna use a silicone brush and we're gonna pop it onto our beautiful tart. So I'm gonna microwave my glaze and I'll be back. All right, I have microwaved my glaze. So it's very, very warm right now and you can see how liquidy it is and that's exactly what I want. I'm gonna grab my little silicone brush and very gently, we just wanna go over all of our strawberries. Now the warmer your glaze is, the better this is going to work. If you find that your glaze is a little bit too thick, you can add a little bit of water. So to, you know, an amount like this, maybe about half a teaspoon at a time. Now this is an apricot glaze. This is an industry standard when you're in the pastry shop. However, you're probably wondering, well, can I use strawberry? Sure, you could take strawberry jam and make a strawberry glaze but this is what we use in the pastry shop. So there we go, and that's perfect, just like that. So this just protects the actual, you know, strawberries, and just makes it look really, really nice now, too. So now what we're just gonna do is just let this set, and we are ready to eat this. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.